As suspected killer Brian Koberger awaits trial, this morning a somber commemoration for the families of Zana Kernodal, Ethan Chapin, Madison Mogan, and Kaylee Gonzalez, the four University of Idaho students stabbed to death one year ago. Four students were killed yesterday in a suspected homicide. Their murders rattling the small community of Moscow, Idaho. It took police six weeks to track down and arrest Koberger, more than 2,500 miles away from the crime scene. The former criminology student was linked to the killings, investigators say, by DNA found on a knife sheaf left on the bed where Gonzalez and Mogan were found dead. Now, one year after their daughter Kaylee's murder, Christy and Steve Gonzalez say they'll spend the day remembering their little girl. It's been rough. It's, it's been really rough. You just miss them, and, and the longer they're gone, the more you miss them, and the more you realize how badly you really have been robbed. In the 12 months since Ethan Chapin's murder, his mother Stacy wrote a children's book and helped establish the Ethan Smile Foundation in honor of her son's memory. I miss hugging Ethan. He's, he just always, he was definitely a mama's boy. I'd give anything to go back and be able to have another hug from him. While the judge has entered a not guilty plea on Koberger's behalf, a start date for his trial has not yet been set. The 28-year-old's legal team has made multiple failed attempts to get the case thrown out. But those delays have brought more time for investigators who were back at the crime scene last month, collecting even more evidence. It's more evidence, so then when we do go to trial, There'll just be more good days than there is those what if days. Now the four families united by immense loss, grieving this mournful milestone. Later tonight, a vigil will be held at the University of Idaho to honor the lives of those students who were killed. Meanwhile, Kaylee Gonzalez's father says he and other victims' fathers have formed an informal support group and often lean on each other to help make it through the grieving process. Guys. All right, Miguel, thank you. We want to turn now to our senior legal correspondent, Laura Jarrett. Laura, good morning. Hey. It's been a year. There's a murder trial. It's a death penalty case. No trial date set. Does that surprise you? I know it's incredibly frustrating for those families that are grieving, but as trial dates go, this is not that unusual, especially in a case like this where it has almost tons of forensic. We know that they're already going back to the house to make a model of the crime scene, so it's not unusual, but I understand for the families that this just prolongs the heartache. You talk about the forensics. Yeah. What, what do you think the prosecution's most important piece of evidence is at this point? By far, it is the DNA evidence. Yeah. They took a swab of his cheek after he was arrested and they matched the DNA. They say a statistical match for the knife sheath that is found mm -hmm. next to one of the victims. That is mm -hmm. going to be just insurmountable, I think, for his case here. They're going to do everything they can to try to get that DNA evidence thrown out. And Laura, when we talk about a year, does that benefit one side over the other? If you think about it, it really benefits the defense because the surviving roommates, especially the one who says she mm -hmm. saw a masked man with bushy eyebrows, she's going to have to likely testify at this trial. And so the longer you go here, the memories fade, even searing ones, it can be really hard, I think, in a case like this for prosecutors when you have those memories. It's a capital case. There's death penalty on the table. Is this the kind of case where potentially there could be some kind of plea deal? You would think for the defense they would hope for that, but it's not clear the prosecutors would be open to that. That's typically the kind of thing you would want to consult with the family for, and it may not be a case where that is even on the table right now. All right, Laura Jarrett, thank you thanks for the update. Laura. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day, or click the link right here.